Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. I'm Ray Luna. For today's tarot reading, we're going to be looking at what's coming towards you. So for group number one, we have the sparkly panda here. For group number two, we have the chubby cheek panda. For group number three, we have the crying panda. And for group number four, we have the snapping panda. So take your time and choose the panda that's calling out to you the most. And once you're ready, head to the description or comment section to click on the correlating timestamp to receive your reading. I hope you guys enjoy this reading and thank you for watching. Welcome to your reading group number one. With your cards here, we have the fifth house, coins, good luck, and lightning disruption. So I feel like what's coming towards you is you're going to have some surprises that involve the fifth house. So this means your love life, what you do creatively for hobbies. And in general, I feel like you're suddenly going to have more experiences where you're just having more joy and more fun in general. I do see here too that you could suddenly just have things happen. So you could be experiencing or soon to be experiencing more serendipity, things falling into place, things happening at the right time, or you think of something positive and then it happens to you the next day. There's something here where you're going to have sudden increase in luck and happy things involving your fifth house. I also feel here with disruption, you guys could have multiple people in love start pursuing you if you're single. Or this could be, if you are in a relationship, this could be a surprise date, a surprise trip someplace, but you're going to have some sort of shocking thing happen in a good way that makes you feel more excited, more happy in this area of life. I also see you guys could have some developments with self-love, so you could experience more luck because you're starting to have more confidence, so you're starting to put yourself out there more not just in love, but out there in general. Maybe you're wearing things that match your own personal style more. You're less afraid to wear bold colors or clothing. Maybe you're changing up your makeup, your hairstyle, but there's something you're doing that's increasing your self-love, your confidence, and people are starting to notice that. So you're going to be drawing in more luck to you because of that confidence and self-love you're going to start exuding. I also see here there could be something you guys are passionate about that is going to bring joy and excitement into your life. Um, so maybe you have some type of hobby you really like or there's something you're doing that makes you really happy. You're going to have good luck with that. So like let's say if you're selling something online, you're posting something on social media or you have something else you're doing on the side that you're passionate about that's not your main job or it's not your main thing you're doing. I see suddenly having disruption with this and it brings more money into your life or brings more prosperity here with these coins. And I also want to say here too, if you guys see a coin on the ground when you're out and about doing your daily activities or what you have to do, this is a sign from the universe that you're going to have more good luck or it's a sign from the universe that you're on the right path and, you know, it's like a heads up like, hey, we got you. We see you. We see what you're doing. So make sure that when you see this, like you feel happy and joyful. Just be like, okay, I'm grateful for this because that's going to increase what you're attracting to be more positive because you're putting it back out there after you receive it from the universe. So it just keeps multiplying and multiplying and growing. I want to say here with the fifth house, while you could have some positive improvements with more people asking you out. I can see like multiple people with the fifth house and disruption appearing here. I would also say um, just be careful too because if you have multiple people coming towards you, that doesn't always mean they're all good. So you could have someone who comes towards you in love, but you might have to deny some people. So just be careful with that because some people might be upset I don't think they'll harm you or anything like that, 
but it just could be like you deal with some people who are childish because the fifth house also talks about children. So I feel like you could be dealing with a couple people or one person in love who could be childish. But I also see other people, you could be attracting someone in love for one of the people coming towards you who is a little bit more creative or kind of like um, Knight of Wands energy I'm picking up. So the person could be more creative, spontaneous. You're also getting someone like that as well. I feel here, but just be careful because, you know, multiple people can sometimes mean multiple problems. So yeah, um, I'm going to put down my next set of cards for you guys and see what else is coming towards you. Okay, with these cards here, you have the Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, Justice, and then we have Obstacles and Challenges in the Universe. So I do feel like you guys are going to be overcoming some sort of obstacle or challenge in your life. So if this is something related to the fifth house, your creative pursuits, something with children, romance, how you experience joy, or how you're having confidence with yourself, you're overcoming challenges in those areas. I also feel here too, with the cards on the bottom, there's a lot of positive energy. So I feel like through your own intelligence, your own thoughts, your own ideas, there's something that you have done or made progress with that's bringing you a chance to have a new opportunity or new joy. So you should be very happy with the work you have done. Give yourself congratulations right now because there's something you have done with your own mind, your own ideas. Maybe you acted on an impulse you had or you trusted your own intuition and there's something here with a hobby or even a job I'm feeling maybe financially. There's something here that's opening up more opportunities for you. So maybe you can travel someplace. Maybe you can do something new that's fun and makes your life a little bit more fulfilling. I also see here with the Nine of Cups and Justice, you could be receiving some sort of hard-won victory. And the Ace of Swords also talks about success and victory. So there is something you're definitely going to be winning or being seen as like the champion of. And I'm also noticing there's a lot of crowns here. So yeah, you're being like a winner or you're receiving something that you have wanted for quite some time. I do believe this has to do with like a hobby, a personal goal of yours. This is something related to what you want, not other people. So for instance, let's say you get a job at a company that's very successful or is known to be a company a lot of people work at. But let's say you don't really care about that company. You don't really want to work there. You instead want to have your online business. You sell jewelry or you sell pottery. There's something you're doing that you want to succeed. So you're getting success on your personal dreams, not the success society wants you to have. You're getting the success you want. I hope that makes sense. So instead of getting this traditional offer at a successful company, you could have your dream come true related to like your side project or your passion that you think, oh, how can I turn this into an income or how can I make this my lifestyle? You're going to have luck with that. I also see here that you guys are going to win over someone so maybe you need someone to believe in you for something to progress or move forward. So you're going to win the trust of someone. But I also see here, you're going to have karma be given to someone who has harmed you in some way. So if you guys have been wishing for consequences to happen to someone who has wronged you or hurt you, with the Nine of Cups and Justice, you are getting your wishes come true related to karma. You guys have been acting in the right way. So the people who are your adversaries or people who have been harming you, they're going to get their just desserts for doing these things to you. So this is a message from the universe that this is completing with the world card here. You're going to get that fulfillment. It's going to be completed. So focus on yourself, your own goals, focus on creativity and fun. That's going to be coming to you anyways, but you really want to embrace that energy 
of the fifth house. So this is also some advice from the universe, if you guys don't mind that. The universe is asking you to be grateful for the things you're going to receive. Have fun. Make sure you're working on things you're passionate about. Make sure you're trying to give yourself some happy moments so you can really sit in this energy and make it give you the most positive rewards you can possibly get from it by fully basking in that energy. And one last message I have here relating to your self-confidence. I feel like maybe some of you guys too, because you're getting an increase in money or having more luck with money, you're going to have more money to invest in your appearance and that in turn gives you more confidence or makes you feel more comfortable with the way you're expressing yourself. So even if something costs a lot of money or you could be spending more money on your appearance because of this, it's going to make you feel really good at the end of the day. So if this is something that you feel like doing, not because of other people want you to do it, remember that it's because you want it. If there's something you're going to do or buy that makes you feel more confident, the universe is also saying, yeah, feel free to do that. Again, everything you're doing or the energy that's coming towards you is all meant for you to have even more positive energy. Like I said, it's all going to add up add up and it's kind of like a snowball effect you do one thing you feel one positive feeling and it keeps adding and adding and that is coming towards you and the universe is also giving you this advice so that it can help boost that even more so i hope this reading has helped you guys in some way that is the end of your reading if you would like to help me out please like the video and subscribe i always appreciate that let me know what you thought about this reading in the comments. I love to read the comments, but I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Welcome to your reading group number two. So you chose the chubby cheek panda and with your cards here, we have the ninth house, globe, possibility, flamingo, fun. So what I see coming towards you is you're going to have a lot of growth in areas related to the ninth house. So this indicates travel, interactions with people from different culture backgrounds compared to you, new experiences, philosophy, education, new adventures, spirituality, religion. So you're going to have growth in a lot of these areas. And one thing I see, all these cards indicate a vacation or travel to someplace. So you guys could suddenly go on a vacation you could travel someplace that you've never been to before and you're going to experience something once you're traveling or on that journey to the destination. You could be receiving lots of knowledge that could change your life or give you some sort of wisdom that makes you go on a whole new life path or life journey. So for instance, let's say if you're traveling and you're learning about a new concept and that changes your mind on how you see things. So in a lot of cultures, there's something called an evil eye. It's used as protection from evil spirits or even like evil people who have negative intentions towards you. So let's say you learn about a concept like that and you start implementing it into your life or something about that concept triggers a spiritual awakening or it makes you want to learn way more about that concept, about that culture. There's something here where it's going to be like a domino effect. You learn one thing and it triggers you wanting to learn a bunch of other stuff more and more. I also see here too, maybe there's some place you're destined to go and that's coming towards you. Um, maybe this place you're going, you can meet new friends, meet a new community that you connect with. Other than physical travel, I also see you guys engaging on online communities. So that can be here on YouTube, connecting with people. It could be on like form websites like Reddit or something else like that. Maybe you're playing a game online where people from all different backgrounds can join in and play with you. But there's something here where it's like you're having a lot of energy about community and people connecting with you who have knowledge that you don't know of and they're going to give it to you.
They're going to connect and be part of your circle now. These new people. I also feel like, too, you guys could have a lot of spiritual developments. So you could gain psychic gifts. If you currently have psychic gifts or you're practicing those in some way as a business, I feel like your, your knowledge could be requested more globally. So let's say you're posting videos online, maybe they start going viral. If you have a spiritual business online, maybe more people start talking about it online, like on Reddit or something like that, and that increases your business. But you're going to be getting a lot, a lot, a lot of developments with the ninth house. Like there's so much here. I can't even say it all. But yeah, your world is going to be expanding here with ninth house energy. This relates to Jupiter. You're going to have expansion in all these areas of your life. And this is opening up a new, a new part of your life, a new journey. And it's going to really enrich you and connect you with people who you're meant to know in this lifetime. And this is going to be a really fun experience with the flamingos here, like this bright, hot pink. This means a lot of fun experiences, a lot of happiness. And all of this too, like it sounds boring when I say, oh, wisdom, knowledge, philosophy but like it will be fun it's going to be something where it's like you're you're really happy and excited to have this new knowledge that you're going to be gaining so i'm going to put down my next set of cards and see what else is coming for you guys okay with these cards here we have the six of cups the lovers four of cups death spiritual strength and recognition and reward. So what I see here with the six of cups and the lovers, I do feel like you guys could have some more moments with the person you're with romantically. So if you're traveling, this is going to be making lifelong memories with them as you're doing this. But for those of you who are single, I see this as you have the possibility to Meet a partner when you're traveling to a different country, a different state, a different place. You have a chance to meet someone that you really connect with. Like maybe the way this person is, is really fun, really unique compared to other people you know. So this person's going to make it so your life is less boring. It's more fun. And I also see this too, not just for romantic connections, but with the Four of Cups and death, there is an end to being bored, okay? Like, if your life has been boring or uninteresting, I do see that this travel or, like, this ninth house energy of expansion and things starting to really happen, it's going to change things so you have a lot more exciting energy around you. You're going to be getting new experiences, no more stagnation and nothing happening. You're going to be either going out there yourself or... The universe is going to push you by having like surprise things happen for you, like having you win a trip to go someplace if you're not making that those plans yourself. I do think a lot of this will be triggered by you, but I'm saying like even if it isn't, something's going to happen where things are shaken up. So you start getting more experiences. You start getting out there and doing things that develop and expand your life. It's also really interesting because I keep picking up um, strong like psychic energy and with recognition and reward, if you guys have a psychic business or you're doing something online unrelated to being psychic too, either way, you're going to have a lot of recognition online. Maybe something you post gets a lot more likes than usual, like maybe you're a top comment or there's something you post, it just starts getting really popular online. People are sharing it. People are really agreeing with what you're saying. And if this is psychic, it could be like what you're saying is healing people globally. Like many people are tuning in watching you and you're helping them uh, find out things about what they're supposed to do or you're helping them connect and heal from their traumas. But there's something here where you guys are helping people globally and you're connecting with people of many different backgrounds. It keeps coming through. And with spiritual strength, yes, a lot of spiritual developments are happening for you next. So it's like, I feel like whatever is going to happen, 
in the future, all this is meant so that you develop your ninth house talents. Um, don't be surprised if you guys start having dreams and whatever you see in the dream happens in real life. Don't be surprised if that song on the radio, it says something and those words stand out to you and then you later find out, okay, that was a sign, that was a message about what was to come. I do think too, like there's something here where you could be healing from trauma as well. Maybe that's why with spiritual strength, like you've been doing shadow work and moving through difficult things and experiences that have happened in your life. So you're now becoming like spiritually stronger, having stronger psychic gifts because of the work you have done. I also feel like maybe some of you guys too, you're connecting more with knowledge or experiences because you could be detaching from material things. Maybe you're realizing all that glitters isn't gold. Like maybe some of you guys too, maybe you wanted to have lots of money or you wanted to have a lot of something material, but now you're realizing, okay, like to be happy, I need more experiences. I need more connection with other people. So you're definitely going to be getting these experiences that make you feel more connected. You're going to be recognized online. You're going to be reaching out to people online if you can't do this in real life. But I also see, again, like I said, lots of travel to another place. That's very important. Like I feel like that's going to be marking a new, a new state, a new chapter in your life so that it's less boring. It's, it's more invigorating and you're finally going to start being able to live by doing things and seeing things that you never thought you were going to previously. So that was your reading group number two. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought about this reading in the comments. I hoped it has helped you in some way. If you want to help me out, consider liking the video, subscribing. I really appreciate it, but I hope to see you guys in the next reading. Bye. Welcome to your reading group number three. So you chose the crying panda and with your cards here with the six house, power lines, energy, cowrie shell abundance. So what I'm seeing for what's coming towards you with the sixth house, you guys are going to have changes related to your daily routine. So I do see this like something in your daily routine. It's not going to remain the same. Your daily routine is going to be switching up. Something unexpected could happen which makes it so your daily routine is a little bit more different, but I feel like this is going to be something you're going to be happy about. You're going to be glad it's switching up a bit because it's going to break, break down some of that monotony you could be experiencing. I also see here too, um, if you guys are someone who has like health issues, like you're dealing with like chronic pain or some sort of illness that makes it hard for you to do your daily task without help or you know, you're just having trouble doing those things because of those issues. I do think something's going to happen here where there's an improvement with power lines energy. Like you might be having some improvements with the way you're feeling. So it's like you're going to be able to take on more things. Um, maybe your, your issues are going to be acting up less and you're going to be having more energy because of that. You're going to be feeling more motivated, more happy, um, I do think something really good is going to happen here that makes you feel like, okay, finally I can actually do stuff. And, you know, I'm someone, I have chronic migraines, so that affects the way I speak sometimes. Like it makes it so I, I slur my speech. That makes it hard for me to do stuff like filming. You know, I'm using my voice a lot. So maybe you guys are dealing with something like that where your health is interrupting your daily routine and that's going to improve. Or you're going to be having more improvements with your health as well. Like if you guys have been starting an exercise routine, a fitness journey, I also see a lot of motivation and positive gains from that, that step, that progress. So if you guys are exercising or changing your diet, this is going to change your life. Okay, it really is. Because with this energy here, it's like you're going to be seeing lots of progress it's going to make you feel motivated to continue with that, but it's also going to bring abundance in other areas of your life. So maybe when your health improves, you're going to be able to socialize more and then you'll get more friends. Or maybe because you have more motivation, you're going to be able to do things 
more regularly without interruptions, making it so you're able to have a more steady job, more money. There's something here where things are definitely going to be switching up and changing so you're more happy, healthy, and abundant. And who doesn't want those three things? They're very important. Like your health is your wealth. So you guys are going to have something um, become more easy for you. And that that is making me really happy to hear that for you because like, like the way I'm feeling, it feels like uplifting. I feel less stressed just sitting in the energy of like looking at your cards here. I also see here too, with sixth house and cowrie shell, if you guys have been unemployed, I do see you getting a new job offer or your job, if it's something not reliable, I think you're going to get a new job that's steady and gives you decent money. Or like I said, if you're unemployed, you're definitely going to be coming into employment soon. So keep applying to those jobs. Keep interviewing. I know that can be very hard, especially right now. It's very hard to get a job right now. So keep doing that. Even if you get denied, keep, 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 keep doing it. Something is going to turn around and it's going to make all this this hard work you've been doing in all these different areas, I've, I've already said, it's going to make it worth it. I can't stress that enough. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards and see what else is coming for you guys. Okay, so with these cards here, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Six of Swords, Three of Swords, Solar Plexus Chakra and the Waiting Game. So yeah, Knight of Pentacles, money opportunities, money opportunities. <laughs> That's what's coming in. Um, you're definitely going to have some unexpected improvements in your life that's going to give you more money or you're suddenly going to have that job come in that you've been waiting for. So please keep up your hope. I can't stress it enough. I can't. It really is going to turn around. And with Four of Wands, I feel like you're going to be like happy. So like at your home, I keep picking that up, like your daily routine, your home, you're going to be feeling so much more happier with these improvements. Maybe you feel like you finally can rest. And as I said, with health, like maybe you have chronic like pain or something and something changes with that. So it's like you finally can rest or make progress on things that you had to put off for a long time. And with the waiting game, it's like the wait is over. You're finally going to be able to not be blocked and all these improvements Make it so you're going to be so like ready. You're just going to go. You're going to wake up early. You're going to be a morning person, okay? And you're going to be like getting out there to do stuff. Like something's really shifting. So you feel so much more happier. And with the six of swords and the three of swords, this is moving away from pain, moving away from difficult times, difficult feelings. Maybe what you have been dealing with in your daily routine has been very difficult. Um, again, like I feel like the same things over and over again, but it doesn't make it any less painful when you have to keep dealing with the same things over and over again and you want things to change. But a breakthrough is happening, so change is finally here. You're not going to be experiencing that same thing over and over again with the same pain. You're going to be making progress. You're going to be seeing new things. You're going to be able to take effort yourself. You're not going to be hindered or blocked by things you can't control. I also can see too with the solar plexus chakra, this talks about like confidence. And also I feel like it can relate to the ability to like be healthy, like feeling confident with yourself, your ideas that you have about yourself and your life. And also I feel like when you're confident, as well. You end up manifesting better. You bring more good energy into your life. And um, this is making me think of lots of happiness, healing past energies. So you're definitely healing past energies and moving into an energy where you're feeling confident about yourself. You're feeling happy. You're feeling motivated. And you're going to be seeing lots of progress roll in. And when I'm filming this, it is in the beginning of April. And there is like a Mercury retrograde right now until I think April 24th. So this may or may not apply depending on when you're watching this reading. But if this applies, I do think this will happen after Mercury retrograde. 
Um, trust me. So you could be having some of these issues still until the end of Mercury retrograde. But I feel like everything that's happening now is going to clear out old energy and make way for this new energy to come in. And you finally have healing. You finally have progress. You finally have an end to monotony that keeps happening. So I really want you guys to set your intentions and try to look forward to what could be possible. Like shoot for the stars. Don't limit yourself. Try to think of like, oh, if you could have your type of abundance, like what do you want? What would make you feel abundant? Write that down and help usher that in. So after this retrograde, I feel like this energy is going to come into you. But until then, during this retrograde, I do think you could have um, some feelings as you're processing, trying to leave all this behind, like these difficult experiences, the feeling blocked. So it will take some effort, but change is definitely on the horizon. And lastly, what I'll say here is I feel like you guys, because of whatever this situation is, I feel like it has been going on for some time. I know I just said to write down, you know, your your things you want to bring in for your own abundance, but also when you feel better or your schedule is changing, really try to believe in yourself. Even if something seems crazy or it seems impossible, really just try things. Start taking risk because I feel like you guys have a lot of potential and it's not just with this energy card. It's like intuitively I'm feeling that you guys have the ability to do a lot. You have the ability to bring in so much for yourself, but you could be hindering it because of your past experiences with your health or your daily routines. Maybe like things just haven't worked out for you or you had to be pushed into things you didn't want to do and you don't really see a way out. So when this happens, don't use those previous experiences, the training the mental training you had from them. Don't limit yourself and think, oh, things might get messed up again. Just try and really push forward because I feel like you guys have the potential to unleash so much. And I'm not even picking up um, like super specific areas of your life. So I feel like this is something where it's like multiple areas of your life are going to be seeing the effects of you trying to reach your full potential. There's no losing here. I feel like it's just you're going to gain, you're going to gain, you're going to gain. And I hope you guys feel comforted with that message. So that was your reading group number three. I hope you guys liked it. Sorry if there was any like weird interruptions or noises. Um, I've been having those a lot <laughs> today. Um, if you would like to help me out, consider liking the video, subscribing. I really appreciate that. But I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Hello, group number four. So you chose the Snapping Panda. And with their cards here, we have the 11th house, heart love, clouds distractions. So what I'm seeing that's coming towards you is you're going to have some changes with the 11th house. So you could have a change in your friend group. So you could be leaving your friend group and joining a new one. Or you could be leaving an organization and joining a different one. There's something here where you're going to have a change in your relationships, groups, how you relate to like certain organizations and people. This could be changing. I also see here you guys have to look at how you relate to your hopes, your goals, your dreams, your wishes. You could have changes with your ability to reach your hopes, goals, and dreams. But I feel like this is a positive thing. So you could have more opportunities come in that make it easier for your wishes to come true. You could have better connections, better friends that encourage you and give you support. They're giving you this heart. So you're more easily able to reach your dreams because you actually, you're actually having a supportive network who wants to see you succeed and thrive, not take you down or be a fake friend. You know, you're going to have people coming in who are really going to support you and make sure you feel supported on your path to achieving what you want. I also see here with heart, some of you guys could 
have a new love interest come in, but I feel like this person coming in could start off as a friend. It's not something that's going to be romantic at first. Maybe you guys join a, a group, you have a hobby, a club that you meet at, and this starts off as a friendship and you guys really connect with your interest. You have a lot in common. And as time goes by, this will develop into a love connection. I also want to say too, this could be receiving something from your friends that you already have, like a gift, something that makes you feel really supported by the people around you. Maybe your friends and family are showing you a lot of love that's coming in. But with distractions too, I feel like your friends, your partner, or this new love interest coming in, it's going to provide a good distraction for you. It's going to give you something that makes you feel happy. It's going to give you something that makes you feel more motivated and makes you feel like more of your, your wishes can come true. More of what you want can happen because they're putting you in a better mindset and that better mindset is going to be manifesting a lot of positive things, positive energy for you in your life. I also feel like you guys have to give yourself more love too. So this is saying take some time out for yourself and give yourself some distraction. So if you've been working really hard, you've been doing so much, give yourself a break by allowing yourself to watch your favorite TV show, hanging out with friends. Maybe you've been socially neglectful because you've been working really hard. This is saying connect with those communities that make you feel loved and supported or give yourself love and support by allowing yourself to have a break. Allow yourself to listen to your favorite band. Allow yourself to do things that's going to elevate you and not take away all of your energy. You also need a break to make forward progress. Remember that. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards for you guys and see what else is coming through. Okay, with these cards here, we have the Three of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Swords, Ten of Cups, New Beginnings, and Emotional Withdrawal. So if some of you guys have been in a hermit mode, maybe that's why the 11th house is coming through. Maybe you're finally getting some friends. Maybe you don't have friends and that's okay too. Or if you had some really bad friends, toxic people, and you're having them removed from your life, I do see new friends coming in. Or if you don't have friends, like new friends all together, who you feel like you're getting love from, you're getting support from, and that is great. So I feel like you're going to be leaving an emotional withdrawal and you're going to find people you actually can connect with and, you know, have that human connection. You feel supported, you feel loved. And platonic love is just as important as romantic love, even though, you know, a lot of people I feel overly focused on romantic love and don't see the importance of friendships and community. And that's actually something like that's really lacking uh, these days. A lot of people have trouble connecting and having friendships because the way, you know, things are set up. So you guys are going to be leaving this and finding new people you can connect with or new friends who are less toxic. <laughs> um, you're going to be finding people who actually want to hear how you're doing, people who actually want to cheer you on. And I feel like you're going to be really happy. Like with the two of swords here and the ten of cups, maybe there's something you have to decide in relation to the communities you associate with, the people you already know. And whatever you choose, it's going to lead to happiness and the ten of cups feeling supported, having that community either way. So don't feel scared to leave people who are harming you, hurting you. And don't feel afraid too to step out and make connections even if everyone doesn't vibe with you, you have to realize you're eventually going to find some people that do if you keep trying. So whatever you choose to do here, it's going to lead to you having some happiness and having some community. That's what's coming towards you. I also feel like you're going to be celebrating something with the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. It's time for you to celebrate. It's time for your cycle to change. So I feel like you could be achieving something and maybe maybe this achievement attracts new friends. Or if you have some friends that are decent right now, they could be celebrating with you and cheering you on. I can see a hope, goal, or wish of yours coming true 
with the three of cups and wheel of fortune finally having something that's like wow like congratulations you did it i feel like you're gonna achieve something like people are clapping for you people are smiling at you and this doesn't have to even be people you know it can be like i said like a group of strangers or some some people at work there's something you're going to achieve though where you're receiving love i also see here too you guys are gonna move past any like trust issues you have maybe you have some difficulty when it comes to relationships, like learning when it feels safe to open up. Like maybe you have opened up to people in the past and they acted like negatively towards you. Or maybe when you try to put your trust and love in other people, it's not like paid back fairly. I also want to say here too, you're going to be working past that and being able to trust people more. And if you are met with any type of rejection, you're going to learn how to not take that so personally and move past that in a way that's healthy. I feel like overall, your life's just going to become more open. Like maybe some of you guys were like really in an isolation period, like a real isolation period. I feel like for whatever reason here, like maybe you've been alone for some time, like I do think there's some sort of like club organization you're going to join and it's really going to open your life up or give you new experiences that make you a lot more happier. And with the clouds here, even though it says distractions, it's like these clouds are going to part and you're going to have clear skies, a clean slate and the new beginning. That's like the fool card, a new adventure, a new journey. So I want you guys to be hopeful and move forward. Be open to people. Be open to new experiences. Because something here is shifting. You're really going to be happy. You're going to feel like you're celebrating every day. Not just because that goal or wish. Um, seeing some progress or achievement there. I do think you're moving towards something where it's like. You really are going to have people who have your back. Maybe some of these people too. Maybe they personally relate to you. Like maybe this is from a support group. And people have similar traumas to you. They have similar, like, experiences to you, like, growing up. There's something here where you're really going to find, like, kinship with others. That's the main thing I'm picking up. And, like, healing trauma from being isolated. Healing trauma from trust issues with, like, people didn't repay you the right way. Or they took advantage of your kindness. This is shifting. And I do see progress, too. Not just with relationships, but... I see progress with your goals and your hopes. Maybe you're finally going to get connections where it's like, maybe you want to learn how to do more with music. Maybe you're going to connect with people who have connections so they can teach you more about music or introduce you to people who can help you learn how to do certain things. I feel like your network is expanding and as your network expands, your opportunities in life in general are going to expand as well. So I hope that makes sense. And I'm sorry if there were any noises during this reading. I keep getting interrupted, unfortunately. But that was the end of your reading, group number four. I hope you guys liked it. I hope this reading has helped you in some way. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you would like to support me, consider liking the video, subscribing if you haven't yet. But I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye.